Okay, this is another update on the uh, garden. So, I got me a fig right here. I bought a plant. I bought it a few days ago. This is what's going on right here. A lot of mulein plant I showed you guys the other day. It's actually a duck. Alright, that's all I've been getting is just rain, 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 rain. Well, nothing wrong with that, but, you know, rain got that one. Got a little mango plant right there, that's coming. My June plums, getting bigger. And over here, got me a... I think that's German chamomile, if I'm not mistaken. I did not tag it, but I think it's German chamomile. And this is Scotch bonnet, pepper from the Caribbean. Yeah. Right. Over here, I'll show you guys. This is a lemon balm. Got a real nice aroma to it. I don't know if I told you guys about this little plant here right here with the stickers on it. It's actually a blackberry. So I got a bunch of these off right here. A bunch of blackberries. I actually ate some blackberries off here the other day. While I'm around, I should have for this is my habanero pepper plant. Got a bunch more habanero pepper on it. Habanero. Ginger. That's that elderberry. It's my chayote vine is actually running pretty good. Uh, let me step over the garden there. And these mosquitoes are killing me. Okay. Right here. <laughs> this little bit of bit of melon right here, the cirrusy. Man, it's overrunning everything. Oh, look how big those okra plants are right now. See that? way tall. All that rain, they got so big. Those are the pure synthi. I need to get some clippings off this bay tree so I can actually get some more plants from it. This right here, look at this beauty right here. Yeah, blue vervain, blue vervain. See that right there? Started push that little vine stuff up there. That's where the seeds pop out. Like flower like that, a purple flower. And you get the seeds. That's good. Nice. Get me a, get me a little pathway in this little jungle here. By the way, none of these are bushes. They're all herbs. You know, everything served their purpose. That's so uh normally view stuff. Watch out for snakes. Well, uh, there's a king snake living somewhere around here. Yeah, actually his name is Keith. That's the king name of the king snake. I gave him a name. So Keith's, you get all the rats around here. Ooh, man. So 
watch now about snakes. Uh, I get this thing in Netflix right here. Damn. Also get to me. Oh shit! Damn. What the Lord? That's my ginger right there. I gotta get these. Try to control the seriously a little bit. So don't really overcrowd everything like that. Okay, here we go. Get me out some of those stinging that Get to me. They're like a bee sting. Okay. Oh, so all those seeds are already dropped on the ground. That's from that um, stinging. Oh, sorry, not stinging nettle, but the syrupy. Okay, I'll try to collect the seeds. So just in case, sometime also give away seeds to folks that's want to plant. Can't step no further over here. All right, that's a bay. I need to, I might need to go on the other side. Cut me a little sucker. I'll keep right here. Yeah, these are the rest of the hook row right here. And this Tia Sinte is actually crowding it right here. Now if I get to show you all the grapes. Show you guys all the grapes on the, the grapes on right here. I'll have to go on the other side I guess. But um a Spanish needle. These right here, it's very good for the ecosystem. The bees comes in and get their pollens from that. Also from the cirrusy. If you look, that's a bee right here. And it's pollen. Look at it. You can get a close up. Come on, there you go. Oh, anyway, this also right here. The bee collects the pollen from that. So, you know, I got bee, got turtle, I got snake, rats, everybody here. Got like a mini ecosystem going on. Okay, actually spot a bunch of grapes. So here we go. See that? Grapes. Put that. Let me get a little closer. Look there, look at that. So the last time I said I lost count. That's all the grapes, grapes, more grapes, get a zoom out there, grapes, grapes, oh my god, it's loaded, and this is the, said, there's two species of bitter melon. There's one that, go, that grows in Asia, one that grows in the Caribbean and Africa. This is the same one that grows in the Caribbean and Africa. And that's where you get your seeds from. It also, it also can be eaten. You know, some cultures cook it, or they just cut it up. This is my. Alright here, this is some dandelion seed. You 
got overcrowded so that's why it didn't really leak put, put out much leaves that much see here that's actually the dandelion and let me get back over here yep these are the elderberries black elderberries they're green right now I gotta wait till they turn black for actually here's one that's actually red, it's not really black yet. See that right there? Yep, all that right there, elderberries. Elderberries. This right here is those pine straws that fell out of that pine, pine tree right here. Yeah, I got a bunch of pine trees around with me, so. Yeah. I'll be trying to get some plant from that bay. See this right here, I'll stick it in the in the soil. I'll try to keep it moist. And I also got another one over there, that pot. But right here is where piece of the limb or a limb of a piece of the limb of one of those elderberry trees broke off the other day and what I did I just you know trim off the top like that and I drop it in this water and it been in this actually this is rain water it's more of a distilled water I'd say um, it been in this for like uh, I want to say almost two months and this is the progress of how much you know root I got on it actually right now this is ready to plant so my next month or so or I should say a few weeks maybe a couple weeks from now I'll be putting down and put this down in the soil so that's so if you want to you know make extra plant from your elderberry that's the best way to do it um, there's a bunch of stuff even online on YouTube you can actually look up this now I'll try to see if I can actually hold this camera trim this up so I'm gonna add this to the water Or you can cook it right now. Can, so I'm just gonna cut these off. And I mean, actually, I can cook with those. So, boom, boom. I need a good little bit. So that's the first spring right there. off right here just cut those like that actually you no know, this is a very nice leaf right here to cook with when it started ripe really give you a good flavor and I'm gonna make some videos on that oh I'll burn it in the oil so, you know to give my vegetables or Whatever you eat, give give your pot a nice flavor. It's some people say it's like pimento, but um, I don't know. It got a unique flavor to it. Pimento got its own flavor. You know they can't really take away from each other. They can't really replace each other. I'm not what I should say. So, you know, they all serve their purpose. They got their unique taste okay so that's what you want it to look like before you stick it in the soil like 
moist soil or I'm gonna put this one in water just to see what happened. Let's give it a little cook right here. Okay. Drop this in. Just like that. This back right here. So, okay guys, uh, this was just another little update. I wanna give you guys in the garden progress you now with all this rain we've been getting and you know, all that stuff actually let me uh, show you one you guys one more thing I uh, got here a lot of people don't know this but uh, that spider right there like I said you know everybody here. everybody okay that's fern over there or Kalawala, that's what the uh, other name for it. This right here, this little herb right here, it's called Kwaku. Kwaku. Yep. And um, a lot of people bathe with it, it's good for the lymphatic system. That's quark right there. Quark. Yep. I said, you know, everything here serves its purpose. That's why I don't really cut nothing down. Um, you know, I'm learning every day. Every day, I learn about a different plant. Uh, this one, for example, it's called a nightshade. Uh, you know, there's a lot of information that says it's toxic or poisonous, but a guy told me the other day that he actually eat the berries off there. I mean, uh, me personally, I've never tried it, and I don't know if I'm going to try it either until I get some more information and confirmation on it. But anyway, these are the real blackberries. See right there, got the stickers. Prickle or whatever you call it. Yep. They can be very annoying. But that's where your original blackberries come from. Anyway guys, until next time.